Hi, Thea. Thanks for being here doing this interview with us. Uh, Ralph has been asking us for a while, and we had to wait till you came home from college to do this. <laughs> so we're really glad that you're here, and uh, and thank you for being part of this and yes. being, a, being <laughs> part of this great family because we do have a great family. Okay, what are what is your definition of a hero? Well, a hero is someone that puts others before them. I think just truly works to help others in society, not selfish or anything, and uh, just does everything to help others, and that's what makes them happy. So, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Who are the heroes in your life? Well, my parents. Big shocker. <laughs> but um, they truly just do everything for us. I mean, they they work for us, they they teach us, they, I mean, they just do everything they can for us. And I see them not only with us, but for others. And I mean, both of them, they're very involved with the church, I'm sure, as you all know. Um, but they, they really just try to help others. And uh, I really admire that about them. So hopefully I can be like them one day. <laughs> and also, who else is a hero in my life? Um, I don't know. I see people as heroes. I mean, I know my friend Isaac, for example. He, uh, he volunteer Coast Guard, volunteer firefighter, volunteer EMT. And he's going to school. And he's just... Always just, I don't even know how he sleeps or how he even has time of the day to do all of that. So, but yeah, he just really tries to help others, and I think that's a, just a really great example to me. So. Oh, that's great. He is a, he is a great guy. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, how do people become heroes? I just think when they have their priorities straight and look at society and wanting to help them. So and actually doing the action to help them instead of just wanting to, but actually taking action and not being a hypocrite about it or um, wanting just praise from others. They, they don't have to tell anyone. They could just do it. Like, I know, for example, uh, I don't remember who it was. She's a wife of some a big sports, professional sports player, and she works as a nurse, and they donate every penny of her job from being a nurse to charity and I just think that's a really awesome thing that someone would do that so why are some heroes so important in the lives of young people I think it just gives them a good example to look up to I mean since a little kid I mean if you're looking up at people that aren't doing the best of things and the best of showing them the best of actions I mean that's not gonna lead the kid into the right direction in most cases but you know if they're looking up into to heroes you know people that really want to help others and do the right thing and uh, put their beliefs before them and whatnot I mean they're gonna you know hopefully want to be like them and act like them so very good what are the things parents can do that will help their children realize that they too can be heroes and make a positive impact on people's lives? I think if parents are encouraging to their children, you know, not abusive in any way, just really uplifting them and just showing them actions of how they act toward others and their own children, really putting them first and um, not putting anything else first, but they'll work and do anything to provide for a good life for them, so. Okay. How does it feel to be recognized as a hero? I'm not a hero, <laughs> so, um, I, I mean, it's an honor. Um, I'm definitely not a hero, though, so. Well, you are. <laughs> no. You, you may not know it, but you are. You live, yeah, just the well, way you're living your life, and. Um, I think uh, you've had a lot of people look up to you, uh, call you up and want, you know, want advice. You've even had parents call you up on how to deal with their kids, to, with their, their, so, you know, their, their children that know you. 
So you are a hero <laughs> in, in people's lives, and you don't you don't really realize it, but you well. are. So <laughs> I wanted to give you a little bit of credit. That you are. <laughs> Thanks. And how do you think uh, you were selected for this unique honor? Um. Being the child, <laughs> you and dad. <laughs> you never belong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's oh. out. <laughs> okay, how uh, how will you be recognized as a hero? Change your life. You know, it won't really change anything. Just want to keep doing as I'm doing, um, helping others, and just uh, looking at figures that I want to be like and just striving to put others before me instead of putting myself before others. So I have work to do, but hopefully I'll, you know, be better and help more and I would love to give back more than I do now. Not that, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so. well good. How are you making a world a better place? <laughs> <laughs> again. <laughs> um, just trying to be nice and Christ-like and just doing what I can for my friends and others that I see and trying to make a positive impact on them and show them, you know, I've seen a lot of my own friends and people I know struggle through a lot of terrible, hard things and I mean, just kind of being there for them can make a world of impact, save a life, you know, just, uh, I think it's just really important to act like that and always be there for the ones you love and show an act of kindness to a stranger can make their day. So, Do you have any good solutions to the problems facing society, especially racism or child and spouse abuse and violence among, amongst young people? I wish uh, there's lots of solutions, but it's... Uh, <laughs> actually making them work is the problem. I mean, we all have the solutions, but um, we just, you know, you have to have love and um, compassion, have the family unit, like my dad was saying, you know, really make America and this world run a lot better and show better examples to the young people. And he'll, he'll help a lot with the racism and abuse and everything. If you show love and compassion to everyone, no matter what the race, no matter, you know, poor, rich, whatever, so. Uh, if you had three wishes for your life and the world that would instantly come true, what would they be? Huh? That's a hard question. Um, well, I mean just that I have the guidance to become a better person and you know, act better <laughs> for other people and um, for the world and society. I mean, of course, you know, and poverty and all disease, that would be an awesome thing. Um, and really, just, and war, all of that, that's a terrible thing, I think. I mean, especially like the Middle East area and Africa and whatnot. If that ended, it would <laughs> solve the world's solutions, so. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you for for your answers and and for being sincere and and and, and being part of of this interview. Thank well, you. Thanks thank for you having all. me. <laughs>